All right, we now know the trophy list for Cyberpunk 2077. This is going to be a, I mean, it's not a spoiler free look. Keep in mind, there could be spoilers in this video for Cyberpunk 2077. I will, I haven't played the game. I don't know anything about the game, but we're going to go through the full trophy list and all the trophies. I'm going to go through every single trophy in the game. We'll break them all down so we can have a discussion about them and figure out how easy or hard we think this game's going to be. There's 45 total trophies. I'm really excited to have a look at these. Let's dive in and take a look at them all. Hey folks, welcome back. If you're a new viewer of the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I make new videos like this every single day on the channel, looking at the latest PlayStation stuff and topics and news. Today we are taking a look at the Cyberpunk 2077 trophy list. This actually popped up on CD Projekt Red's uh, GOG app, CD Projekt Red being the developer of Cyberpunk 2077. This popped up on their uh, their, their app uh, about a week or so ago, uh, and this has been floating around the internet a little bit in terms of uh, the trophy list being revealed. What I'm going to do here is I will show show the full trophy list and we'll kind of go through it there are some trophies here that are hidden because they are hidden trophies normally that means they're story related trophies though so that kind of helps us out a little bit as well because it means that the story trophies are probably going to be hidden we're not going to know what they are so we won't have anything spoiled for us which is great and we can look at the rest of the trophies well what i'll do is i'll try and figure out sort of a score in terms of how hard i think this is going to be just based on looking at these trophies obviously that could be thrown out the window and changed when the game actually comes out keep in mind i haven't played the game at this point it's not out yet uh, as of making this video maybe you're watching this in the future and it is out and the trophies are available blah 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 but right now that is not the case so the game has 45 total trophies it has one platinum one gold 17 silvers and 26 bronze trophies now the platinum trophy is just called platinum and it's for earning all other trophies in cyberpunk 2077 yeah i guess that's that's what a platinum trophy is right i mean yeah that's uh that's that's how it is uh next is called city lights and this is for completing all gigs and nypd scanner hustles in city center no idea what that means uh, all gigs uh, it does appear to be a trend in here though They'll, you'll see this pop up a few times so complete all gigs and ny and ncpd scanner hustles in city center i'm guessing gigs are a probably side quest and the scanner hustles are probably another type of side mission these are probably two distinct types of side missions city center being obviously a location on the map um, and you'll see why i think that shortly because there's a few others for these as well which probably means you have to 100 percent each of the locations on the map. Full body conversion, which is for install at least one implant in each system and body part. Uh, yeah, I, I guess these are for like upgrades or maybe cosmetic upgrades. Uh, right back at you is for kill or incapacitate an enemy who threw a grenade at you. Um, so I don't know, that doesn't seem like a very challenging one. Uh, the wandering fall is for finding all tarot graffiti. I'm guessing this is a collectible based trophy, just based on the way it's, I mean, find all, it has to be. Uh, auto jock is buy all vehicles available for purchase again that's another sort of collectible based trophy frequent flyer is find all fast travel uh, data data terms that again appears to be another collectible based trophy uh, gun foo kill or incapacitate three enemies in quick succession with a revolver or pistol in close combat so another combat based trophy here so so far we've got i guess like a completion trophy for side quests a bunch of uh, collectible trophies and then a couple of combat trophies so nothing too crazy yet um, but it really does depend on this complete all gigs a uh, gunslinger is for shooting an enemy grenade in mid-air with a revolver combat based trophy master crafter is craft three legendary items so that's probably a mixture of a collectible and crafting i am the law complete all cyber uh, cyber psycho sightings uh that to me feels like some sort of a i don't know that's either a it could be a collectible based thing or a, or a side quest type thing you've got another one here for completing all gigs uh in ncpd scanner hustles in haywood then another one for westbrook so obviously two other locations in the game as well i wish i knew more about these i, I really don't i did try and do a bit of research into the game before doing this video but i didn't want to spoil too much of the game for me either i kind of want to go into it relatively unspoiled so hence why i I sort of don't know all the ins and outs of cyberpunk christmas tree attack is complete a breach protocol with a minimum of three damien's uploaded i don't know what that means i have no idea what that means uh the quick and the dead is killer incapacitate 50 enemies while time is slowed i'm guessing that's a augment uh that you can that you can add to your character or an ability you can add to your character must be rats perform the district's enemies quick hack 30 times without drawing attention to yourself yeah no idea could perform the district enemies quick hack it must be an ability that you have to do breathtaking is clicked all items that once belonged to johnny silverhand that's uh 
That's Keanu Reeves' character, hence why they're breathtaking, because of the E3 moment. Clickable items, I mean it's a clickable base trophy, probably maybe for a side mission. Uh, the Wasteland, complete all gigs, and uh, so this is Badlands, same sort of thing we've seen already with uh, complete all these gigs. Kill or incapacitate three enemies with uh, one detonate grenade quick hack, so that's a um, another combat based trophy. Use dialogue option related to V's life path 10 times. I have no idea what that is. That could potentially be spoilery, but I, I genuinely have no idea. 10 out of 10, reach the max level of any skill. Obviously, that's for leveling up your character. Rough landing. While Berserk, Cyberpunk. While Berserk, Cyberware is active. Perform a superhero landing to kill or incapacitate two enemies. Obviously, a skill-based combat trophy. Uh, the world is for completing the main storyline. Then you've got more of these complete ones. So complete all gigs in... Uh, Pacifa, as well as Santo Domingo, um, so another two completion based trophies. So there's, there's significant amounts of areas in this game that you obviously have to do full completion for, so that's an interesting little little note there. Uh, you've got another couple of kill based ones here, so kill or incapacitate 300 enemies using ranged weapons, and then kill or incapacitate 100 enemies using melee weapons. These ones probably seem to be kind of things that will come naturally. Kill or incapacitate two enemies with the same sniper rifle shot. It's interesting that I say kill or incapacitate, which means that obviously you can choose to be passive. Incapacitate meaning like take them out peacefully without killing them. So you can probably choose how you tackle particular situations. After reviving yourself with second heart, kill or incapacitate an enemy who killed you. So obviously it's like an ability to up res yourself again. I suppose uh, it's called Viva Vendetta, which is a cool name. Uh, it's elementary is complete all gigs and NC, PD, Scanner, Hustles, and Watson. So another completion-based one here. There's a lot of those. That's the that's the thing that I'm probably looking at the most here. And then there's one more trophy here, which is uh, Legend of the Artifact, which is Reach Max Street Cred. That's probably for leveling up a, uh, a reputation meter of some sort, or maybe it's the level of your, your character, I'm not sure. And then the remaining trophies are all hidden trophies, which would lead me to assume they're all story-based trophies. They're probably non-missable story trophies, or maybe they're mostly story trophies, but then a few spoilery side quest type trophies. That's generally what developers hide behind hidden trophies. So I wouldn't worry about those 14 hidden trophies. I don't think they're really that important. The uh, the vast majority of stuff in here, I mean, there's a, there's a bunch of collectible stuff in here. That's worth pointing out. Uh, who knows how many collectibles are going to be required for each of those things, but there's a bunch of those. There's a ton of combat-based trophies for killing or incapacitating enemies. Then far and large, the majority of the content in here seems to be for completing all the gigs and scanner hustles. I don't know exactly what those are. Maybe someone in the comment section can fill us all in and let us know. My assumption is that they're side quests and it's probably completing a district kind of area. 100% is probably what it is. So yeah, that's the Cyberpunk 2077 trophy list. So my thoughts on it. It seems like a, a complete-a-thon, collect-a-thon type situation. A lot of collectibles and a lot of sort of just completing everything. There are, seems to be a ton of uh, combat trophies in there as well, but they, they, they're they probably ones that will come kind of naturally based on just sort of what some of them are. There's a few very specific ones where you probably need abilities. You know, unless those abilities are hard to unlock or they're locked behind particular side missions or choices or things like that, I don't see why this would be a very challenging platinum. Based on this, time to platinum and difficulty, it's, it's really, really hard to say. I'm guessing that Cyberpunk's gonna be a really long game, so I, I don't wanna give it a time to platinum because I imagine that time is, it could, it could, you know, it could be 50 hours, but it could also be 150 hours based on Witcher 3's time. Uh, Difficulty-wise though, I would say it's easier than Witcher 3. That would be my assumption, just based on this. There doesn't seem to be anything in here that I would say is immediately concerning or challenging. A lot of it just seems to be completion based. So because of that, you know, it could be looking at sort of a mid-range platinum, a four or a five out of 10. Uh, maybe, maybe more like a four out of 10 in terms of overall difficulty, just because difficulty is kind of based on, on the requirements for the platinum being, you know, just essentially just completion based stuff in here. Unless there's something really unusual in their side quests, I don't see it being significantly more than that. But keep in mind, I haven't played the game. I don't know any more about the game apart from what I'm just doing now. I normally don't like to, to guess about a platinum difficulty score, but I thought for this game here, it's such a significant game. Why not? <laughs> what do you guys think of this list? I actually think this is a really good trophy list. It seems like a decent trophy list. Doesn't seem too grindy, doesn't seem too frustrating, doesn't have anything in here that is ringing any alarm bells for me. What do you guys think though? I'm curious to get your thoughts in the comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this video as well and, and are you looking forward to Cyberpunk still. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Bye for now.